prefer different color so let me just say maybe i prefer using a gray color now okay so when i go back and i reload this page and i move my cursor you notice everything is not changing so this apply, apply the over effect to this so anytime we move this so a user can easily click on the register register anyone at all we are using the same header property so you go to any of the pages this same effect is going to work so this is a very unique way in which you can build a header and it's going to make your work very easy so let's go ahead and then try building our contents once we are done with our contents we can get on and then finish with our footer so i want to do something basic for now and this is going to be part two of this lesson we'll also do part two try to improve and then build our registration form and other things so this is going to be the first part of this tutorial okay so let's go ahead and then build our content now so i'm going to come here and go back to my index page so these are individual things i'm going to do now so let me bring a bit of html template now now over here notice we don't even need to so let me just call this home page home page and then over here let's just create a section okay let's create a section and within this section let me just do two articles within my section now so let me just have first article and then within this article let me just go ahead and give it h1 header let me call this one header one and let's generate Let's generate a paragraph and we need some dummy text to work with and we can use the lorem we are using if you are using vsc code editor you can use the lorem keyword now maybe i want about 50 50 50 words i'll just hit the tab key and it will going to generate that for me as you can see so let me load my index page now i should go back to my home page you should know that the home page is now in this page so i'm able to generate some dummy text now okay so let's go ahead and also do do another article now i can easily duplicate this again sorry Control d will just give me another article so let me just call this one header two so meaning let me make this header one okay so we'll have header one now and header two okay. so if i load this you see exactly what i have now I have my second paragraph and article so we can go ahead and then add a bit of padding to this we can easily target because we've included this header keyword over here we can easily target our section over here and then and we can just say let's add a few padding to it let me add a pattern of let's say 20 pesos 20 pesos and i will just reload this page and i notice we have some padding around this particular text i'm going to go ahead and then include the footer in this tutorial we're going to set this as part one and we're going to improve on this in order to build our subsequent web pages so my main focus is how to use the header and the footer using the include statement this is actually going to help you and make your life very easy in order to develop a website so we don't need to go to every page and every page by page and be changing the header we just have one simple header make few changes over there and it's going to reflect on every other page so let's go ahead and build a footer so we're going to use the same property and we'll come down to the footer here and let me just set it up let me just also generate a template i only need a footer here and i'll come down here and say what well, footer so my footer here let me generate a paragraph and within this paragraph let me use a copyright keyword copyright and generate a copyright symbol i'm going to generate a copyright symbol by using the upper sound there's an end column okay the semicolon and i'll say 2021 and with the pipe symbol i say all rights reserved so this is what i have now and i want to just include the css file over here so notice what i'm going to do now i'll leave this as as it is 
because I want to write the same CSS properties over here. I want to just link it over here. Remember, this we are linking is we are not using the inline CSS, so this is going to be a link keyword, and I will just say CSS. I'll include this but I'm going to write some few CSS properties to format this. So I can go back and then call my footer. Call my footer down here. Footer. And I can easily set. Okay, I'll target the paragraph and, and everything and set the background to background color. So let's see. I prefer some bit of gray color. Color okay, and I'll give it a color that's the bag and a color of give a color of black with a black color, and I'll say text align, text align center. I want to center everything, so let's load this right now. We shouldn't be seeing anything until we link this. Okay, so we're going to use the same include statement and we we'll link it to the index page and other pages as well. Then this is going to appear on every page as we did for the what the header. So let's go back to our page and then what we're going to do is that as we have this property over the header, as we've written it, we can just use the include statement so this is the include statement we can copy this and anywhere we want to include the header we just go ahead and do that so we need a header on the index page so i can just come down here and then put it over here but i notice this is a header so i need to just change this word footer okay so this is all i need for anywhere i want to use my header my footer sorry so i also need the word footer over here so I'm just going to put it here and I also need a footer on my contact page and I'm basically what I'm going to put this over here if I come down here once again I load this I should see what my footer as expected let's go ahead and add some bit of property or padding to this footer okay so let's go to the star sheet now and then see let's give the pattern of 20 pixels so I'm going to say pattern If I go back and reload this page, I think this is better now. So this actually is very simple and a unique web page. And if I go to my about page, you see that I'm having this on my about page. If I go to contact page, I have this as well. But I want us to know that we are on about page and I want us to also know that we are on a contact page. So let me just put a simple information over there. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload new content. I'm going to improve on this website and get a, going to get a standard website. I'm going to do the part 2 of this tutorial. So stay tuned, turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime I upload a new content. I'll create a registration form and also a login form as well. So what I'm going to do, I want us to know if you are on about page, okay? And also on the contact page. So let me just go on these pages and then do a few, a few updates. So I want us to come down here. And let me just include each one header and say about page MC welcome to about page about page so let me just copy okay let me just put in each a paragraph Lois Lorem and generate some 25 I think I've made a lot of, I've created a lot of paragraph let's copy the same thing and let's also have the same thing on our contact page so let's put it over here and let's say welcome to contact we just want to know where we are okay we just want to know where we are on our page we want to be sure of what we've done so we'll go ahead and then build a contact form and subsequent video and improve on this so i can easily use the form keyword let's see let's let me just create a simple form so let me say form I'm, going to, I'm not going to put any action for now and let me use a label uh, label and let me say use that name and let me just add the person for user name okay and I also need the person to 
gonna give a form to the person in order for the person to type in something. So let me say input and we'll leave it for now. Let's add a break, a couple of break, and we will go ahead and also let's duplicate this and change this to a password. So let's see. Let's call this one password. Okay, and with the, because this is password, we need to set this to password because we want people to see the figures or numbers as the type. So this is going to be the sent. Let's also include the submit button. So we can you also see input. We'll call this one submit. And let's give a value, let's say sign up or register. So let's say the value is going to be what let's just use a submit keyword for now. So let's go now and check our various pages. We are on what? This is our what home page. This is our about page. So you notice that we now welcome to about page. We have that. If you come back here, contact page. So we know we are on our contact page. As simple as that. we have the submit button. In a subsequent lesson, we're going to learn how we can easily use CSS to format and create a very nice and a unique contact page and set it up to the standard. So we have our footer header. We we'll use this simple keyword. Remember, we have remember we have several web pages. We can easily use that simple include statement to embed in this header and the footer. So anytime we make any change, it's going to reflect on each and every page. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. Remember to share, hit the like button, and don't forget 